Hi guys, here are the stars, and we battle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and things in other dimensions and high places. I know that's not an exact quote of the scripture, but I want you to bear with me for a moment as we follow this through. Now, many of you have seen the recent uploads that I've done. These are re-uploads from the past regarding a branch-like shady structure that we'd identified a while back in iPet Goat. And I the reason why I re-uploaded these videos is because I thought that we might revisit this. In reading uh, about Neptunalia in Wikipedia, what I found was that there is a tree-like, branch-like, shaded umbra. They call it an umbra, like an umbrella. And in reading those words, it immediately reminded me of iPet Goat as well as the Chronicles of Riddick, as you saw in the previous videos. We're going to read through this, and the picture will become clear as I read through this. Let's read about Neptunalia and what it is. Now remember, Neptunalia, July 23rd, is Philip Hoffman's birthday. Philip Hoffman died at 46. 23 and 23 is 46. Now, um, many of you have shared with me that about the 23 chromosomes and 46 and I agree with you that this is probably what it is in reference to but uh, let's continue on further the Neptunalia on July 23rd honored Neptune as the god of the seas and water in the middle of the ancient Italy's really hot and dry summer season when rivers were low and water was most scarce Romans sought Neptune's protection of irrigation waters and works so this was somewhat of a drought festival. To do this, they went out to the fields and forest and built small huts called umbra, shades or tabernaculi, tabernacles out of the leafy laurel bay branches. Now, I have not been able to find any images of these umbra. The closest thing that I could find is an Israeli Jewish type of structure, but it is square. But I cannot find anything that relates directly to what they're talking about here on Google. So it says within the shade of these natural tents they would picnic outdoors drinking spring water as well as wine to keep cool in these hot summer days. Richer folk might sacrifice a bull to Neptune. Camping overnight with fires for cooking they shared the bull with the god would be common and the festival continued the next day. Honoring Neptune on this day would assure rainfall for the crops and forestall any drought so this is a sacrifice to a god to bring the rain. I live in California. The day that Philip Hoppin died, the very next day we finally got rain. And on that day, on February 3rd, two children drowned in a pool on a cruise ship that is the sister ship to the one that was parked in Hell's Kitchen. And many of you saw that video. It was a four and a six year old. And the day before, a 46-year-old man, Philip Hoffman, died. Is all this coincidence? Is it a coincidence that it rained the day after he was sacrificed and the children were sacrificed in the swimming pool? I don't know. But what I do know is that we battle not against flesh and blood. Now... Neptune was the god of the sea and of all the waters for Romans, but he was not among Rome's most revered and powerful gods. Little is known of his origin. When he was first introduced in Rome, he already had acquired all characteristics of the Greek Poseidon. Now remember, we had identified the exact bomb locations in New York in a deli or a bakery called the Poseidon Hell's Kitchen. Despite the fact that his cult grew after his equation from Poseidon, Neptune was far less popular among Roman sailors than Poseidon was with Greek mariners. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you guys. If you guys have any clues, we are trying to identify that shade-like umbra structure. Um, we had identified a church in a previous video that had a picture of it, but there was no name given to the structure. 
So I believe that if we can find at least the name of this structure, it might help us unlock the keys to more of de de deciphering IPET GOAT. Anyway, you guys, take care and be safe.